Howdy folks, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen, back again in the Video Jug Kitchen with my series, Good Food, Good Times. Now, have you ever wanted to eat a rainbow? I've got some rainbow hot dogs here that are simple, they're yummy, easy, super quick, yummy, tasty, all that stuff. You're gonna be doing that, good times. Okay folks, first step, get yourself a nice hot pan. I've got some big old bacon chunks right here. We're just gonna push that into the pan. There should be a sizzling noise now, but there we go, it's starting, it's starting to warm up now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just get a little olive oil just on the side to help it. The natural fat from the bacon will help cook it anyway, but we'll just get it in there. We'll mix it all around and coat it. We're gonna get it nice and golden brown. After about three or four minutes, you'll start to see the brown spots occurring. It's time to squeeze in our honey, so about a good, tablespoon in there. It's only going to stay in there for about an extra minute on this pan because it's all cooked through. We're just adding a little bit of flavour and we don't want to burn it. We just want to get it nice and coated, that extra sort of sweetness. Whoa! I feel like I'm a witch making a, a big potion. So just let that caramelise just a little bit. And once it dries, it, it will stick on there. Give it a real nice sweet edge. Right, hopefully you can see that lovely golden colour on there. It's looking amazing. We don't want to put it straight in to make our salsa just yet. We want to let it cool down, otherwise it will wilt our crest, and we don't want that happening. So grab yourself a griddle pan, and it's time to work on our woof woof dogs. Okay, look then, folks, so with that pan getting nice and hot, let's quickly make a burger sauce. You know these burger sauces that you get in the supermarket? It is literally ketchup with mayonnaise mixed in. How simple is that? Oh, I love it when you just squeeze it like that, it just goes everywhere. Little mix with a wooden spoon to get that there and it should go a nice pinky colour just like that burger ketchup we're known for. Fantastic. So that's the colour I'm looking for, a sort of paley pink. If you're enjoying this recipe and you want to have a go, like Video Jug, and I really hope you do, don't forget to check out the description down below which has the full method and the ingredients list so you can get stuck in too. This pan's going to be nice and hot now, so I'm going to grab these frankfurters, just sit them on there, loving that little sizzle sound there, just to try and scorch some lines on. We're nearly done, believe it or not. Right, so it's time to take off our dogs. They've been on there around about seven minutes and I'm loving these charred lines on there. They kind of look like zebras. They're like dogs that want to be zebras. It's kind of like a cross animal thing going on. Anyhow, we've got our hot dog buns ready. We'll put our burger sauce in there any minute now, but let's start to build up our salsa. So I've got some fresh mango chunks. I'm just going to put about half of each of everything I've got here at the minute. So some crests as well. That's been trimmed earlier, like a haircut. Some radish slices. Let's put that in there. And of course, we'll grab our caramelized bacon bits. I'll push in about half of that pan as well going in there. Do, 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 do. You can have a real nice combination of sweet, a bit of tang, just a bit of crunch, loving it. So get your hands in there. You can use a spoon if you want, but what I like about this, I like getting my hands on food and hopefully you do too. Get it all nice and incorporated. Fantastic, I'm loving the look of those colours in there. Don't forget guys, if you're enjoying this video, leave a little comment, give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Video Chug and of course, My Virgin Kitchen. Let's build up these dogs. So grab your burger sauce and give it a nice little layer in there. Don't overdo it too much. It's not like you're putting suntan lotion on at the beach. You just want to give it a nice little coating. And of course, you can toast these buns if you want to. I know some of you Americans are really into toasting your buns. You could have just opened them, butterfly them down on there. So just smear that on there just to make it nice and give it a nice little bed of burger sauce loving. Right, so the burger sauce is in there, or really we should be calling it dog sauce, I don't know. So our lovely charred dog, which I really just want to bite, like right now. I'm going to shove that right in there like so. And we're now going to get that lovely salsa that we've made, that rainbowness, that colour. We're just going to sort of be greedy and just pile a big amount on there. doesn't matter if it goes all over your board, it looks kind of rustic. Get all those flavours on there. You see that mango, the radish, the cress. Oh my goodness, working with the honey in that bacon. A little bit of sweet chilli sauce. We'll finish this off. So just pour this on. Just like that, just drizzle it over as much or as little as you like. I personally love sweet chilli sauce, I want to drink it. That is a hot dog and a half. There we go then folks, our rainbow dogs. I said at the start of the video, have you ever tasted a rainbow? Right here, looking so good. Really hope you give them a try. If you do, don't forget to send a picture at Video Jug Food and at My Virgin Kitchen. We'd love to see what you can come up with and put your own spin on it. Don't forget to check out the other videos in the Good Food, Good Times playlist. I'm off to pretend there's some other people there that I can share these with, but really, I'm just going to eat more. See you next time. Los Angeles